Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Such as... Was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. Big Horners. Good eating. And we can trade the hides. Got a lot of wild ones around here, so it's easy to restock the herd. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town. Walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the super mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. We were looking for a Gek to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. All right. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west? They'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. All right. Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. A lot of the mutants here found out about Jacobstown because of Neil. Our isolation works against us sometimes. See you. These super mutants kidnap us and force us to fix toasters for them. It's on you. your grandma. Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. I, oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? 
I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures, but sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. Talk to you soon, dear. Another human. One was enough. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is... is... uncomfortable. It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil, and you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. Dr. Henry, he's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. Finally. I assume this is about something important? You're interrupting my research. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. If we must. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nightkin. Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning, I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks, and would enjoy a little revenge. I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. If we must. Yes, yes. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. Thank you. 
Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. Never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. Prospectors looking for salvage, usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The Great Khans come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. All right. Bye. Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Killing our bighorners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Thanks. Uh, hello? Hi, are you there? Oh, right. You can't respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. I've picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. Our business is with the muties, not you. Just doing what I'm paid to do. Harass the muties until they leave or attack us. If they leave, we'll let them go. If they attack, we wipe them out. Either way, the job's not done until they're cleared out of the town. Won't name names, but some important folks in the NCR are sick of muties attacking their Brahmin herds. They want them gone from NCR territory. Maybe this group had something to do with attacking Brahmin, maybe not. Doesn't matter. We're getting paid to make them go away. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Something on your mind? Smart. Charismatic. Hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans. Prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Knight can have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. 
<laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others, mutants included. All right. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. See you. Hi there. My name is April Mortimer. I monitored a communication earlier between you and someone with the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good. Sending someone up to meet you. Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. And over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down of your underwear. I've told you what to do. Strip off your clothes and equipment or face summary execution. Will you comply? Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. Where did you learn that password? And tell the truth, because I'll know if you're lying. An interesting story. It may even be true. Under normal circumstances, your story wouldn't make any difference. You'd be dead already. Lucky for you. Probably. Elder McNamara wants to meet you. So follow me, closely, or you'll be killed. If you have something to say, say it to Elder McNamara. I've been informed that you bring us ill tidings, stranger. Care to elaborate? That is sad news indeed. And I thank you for making your way here to convey it to us. But now the issue remains that an outsider knows our location. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved. An NCR Ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood. Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. You'll find your equipment in a chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the Ranger.
Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? Exactly what powder ganger scum would say. Any last words before I pull this trigger? Relax, son. Just pulling your leg. What can I do for you? Well, I thought I might set up a safe house in one of the bunkers here. Between the remote location and the dust storms, I figured it was ideal. Of course, seems a lot less remote since you showed up. Plus, I haven't been able to get my radio working, and a safe house is no good without one. I reckon I'll stick around a while, patrol for troublemakers, see if I can get that radio working. Dobbs is my name. I'm an NCR ranger operating out of Camp McCarran north of here. Reading man by birth, though. Standard practice. Rangers operate on our own most of the time, and that's how we like it. Usually we call in our positions to McCarran to be relayed to other Rangers, but I can handle myself. I'm sure as hell not gonna lose any sleep on account of a goddamn broken down radio, but it will shorten my stay if I can't fix it. Oh, and in your expert opinion, why would that be? I see. Well, I'll take that under advisement. Now why would I do that? You see some powder gangers on the approach or something? You've seen that with your own two eyes? God damn. I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently, but I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep. I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. Sorry, but I've got a long hike ahead of me. You take care. Stand back from the door. The Elder's eager to hear your report. How did you resolve the situation with the Ranger? Gone. Why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? Yes, you exploited his fear of powder gangers very effectively. The collar includes a microphone, you see. Part of the test. He'll keep his distance, setting ambushes, never suspecting that these bunkers house something far more dangerous to him than criminals. Well played. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Your presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. That's right. Nothing gets in or out of here without me knowing it. Normally, that would have fallen under my jurisdiction, but the Elder thought it provided good test for you, so I backed off. Under the lockdown, only essential personnel are permitted to enter or leave. That includes supply runners and high security patrols. All other personnel are forbidden to leave, and any personnel that were out there when the lockdown was enacted are forbidden from returning. Fine by me. Later. When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down allowing no entry or exit. 
with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. While that is disheartening news, there remains hope that the other two patrols may still be found alive. The less who are aware of this situation, the better. My brothers and sisters were deeply traumatized by the losses we incurred several years ago. It would be imprudent to worry them unduly without first discovering the facts of the situation. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble, and he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Why should you trust the Elder? I'd recommend listening to both of us, and choosing whom to trust for yourself. So are you willing to listen? As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an Elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters, so they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? If I become Elder, the lockdown will be lifted, and we'll once again be able to send patrols out into the wastes. We'll become powerful again. And when that happens, it will be good to have the Brotherhood as an ally. Good enough? I half expected you to say that. In which case, I'll continue to pursue the matter on my own. Should you continue dealing with the Elder and find yourself beginning to see my point of view, I'll be around. If we could just combine the best qualities of laser and plasma weaponry. Even though the patrols no longer go out, we've got a backlog... Look, this isn't a great time... Oh, what the hell. It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. 
I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. What? No, that... that's brilliant! It would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular terminal, even when the other parts move. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. The That's it! We got it! The virus has been purged! You actually did it? If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis, since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Bye. Yes, what is it? Ah, the Outsider. I suppose it's too much to ask that jarhead Ramos to keep outsiders away from my research. I am head scribe Taggart, and I am much too busy to deal with the likes of you right now. Yeah? It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that, especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe and my mother a paladin. They both died at Helios 1. The others were always like a family to me before that. But afterward, they became my family in truth. Later. I was hurt in training. You're the one with that robot. I was hoping you'd bring him my way. Pretty impressive piece of hardware. I can't say that I've seen anything quite like him before. Really? What kind of logs? What kind of data does he have on it? Did you say Poseidon energy? I've been researching some Poseidon projects here. Do you think you could leave your robot with me for a few days? I have some materials that I can use to upgrade his armor while he's here. The other day and she...